Hello world, welcome back for another Daporto Dev video. I'm here to show you how you can give your laptop more battery life and better performance for absolutely no cost. That's right, free. So I just started making tech videos about two weeks ago, even after posting just three or four videos on laptops, I can already see. The top two concerns from my viewers, thermals, how hot does a laptop get, and battery life. So today I'm showing you something that can address both of those concerns on any laptop. And that is undervolting. So it doesn't matter what laptop brand you have, MSI, Asus, Razer, Dell, this trick will work for you as long as you're running an Intel laptop. This is something that you can accomplish in about 20 minutes. All you need to do is download a free tool by Intel called Intel XTU and you're in business. I wanna give a quick disclaimer. There are things that you can modify with this program that can cause damage to your laptop. However, the setting that we will be touching in this video poses absolutely no risk. All we're gonna be doing is simply lowering the voltage that our power delivery system will be giving to our processor. Now, the reason why this is possible is because every chip is different coming off of the manufacturing line and there are variances. So processor manufacturing companies like Intel and AMD have formulated a range of voltages that's suitable for every chip off of the manufacturing line, no matter what those variances are. So for example, out of the box, an Intel chip that your laptop has might be set out of the box at this standard voltage that Intel has set for their processors. However, because every chip is different, yours will be able to handle running at a lower voltage, giving the same performance. So here it is, the Intel XTU Extreme Tuning Utility app. Now, the starting screen of this program shows us a lot of information. We can disregard most of it, but it does have some useful stuff such as package temperature and over on the right, it'll show our clock speeds and whether we're throttling. Let's go ahead and dive into the settings here where we're gonna actually do the undervolting. So lots of sliders here, but most of it we can disregard. Luckily, we're just gonna be looking at the core voltage offset. Now we will see by default, it is of course set at zero for this slider here, but we are going to be adjusting this to achieve our undervolt. One thing we're gonna be wanting to make sure we do along the whole entire way is stress testing. So pretty much the process that we're gonna be following while we're achieving under voltage is applying an under voltage value, applying and rebooting, and then running a stress test to see if our system is running stable with that under volting value. We're gonna be wanting to move this dial in very, very small increments. Of It's recommended to go at values of 0 0.005 volts, but I, of course, have already done this many times on several different laptops. I've already tested this particular device I'm on, and I know that it can go much, much lower in terms of undervolting. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my undervolt much, much lower. I already did a reboot, so I can go ahead and show you guys the results here. So here I have it set at negative 0.115 volts. There are people that manage to get much lower undervolts, but past this point is about where I started to see some instability with my laptop, which will usually manifest itself in a system freeze or a blue screen of death from Windows. But these stress tests that we're running are how we detect that instability. There is no danger or harm from undervolting. Once your system freezes, if you reach that limit from undervolting, when it reboots, Intel XTU automatically reverts to default under voltage values of zero, and then you can just restart the process from a less extreme undervolt. So immediate benefits you'll start noticing from a successful undervolt of your system are better temperatures, so less thermal throttling, and better overall performance, as well as improved battery life because your system is now consuming less voltage, less power, so it really is just a true win-win situation that really all laptop owners should be doing to their laptops to utilize them to their fullest. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Please check out all my links in the description down below. I will always be putting useful links down to all of my social media profiles. There's a Discord server for Dalporto Dev, and I'm always looking to get to know my audience. So, 
Thanks for watching. I'll Porto Dive out.